analyzing a circle. Now, a circle, by definition in the conic section, is a set of all points in the xy plane that are fixed distance r from a fixed point hk, which is your center. Now, the radius here is equal to r, and the center will be your hk. So, ito yung ating equation ng circle doon sa ating conic section. At mapapansin nyo na ang ating circle is mapaform kapag meron tayong conic section tulad nito, at meron tayong plane na nag-cut through the conic section horizontally, now magkakaroon tayo ng circle at yung circle na yan ang gagamitin natin in our lesson today. Now, this is the graph of your circle given the standard equation of the circle as x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. Now, ito yung representation ng ating circle which has the center hk at yung radius na r. Now, sa xy plane naman, ito yung ating itsura ng ating circle na given a radius of 4, so meron tayong 4 units away from the center at nakakabuo tayo ng circle by using the radius which is equal to 4. Now, sa pag-solve naman ng mga word problems involving circle, gagamitin natin tong equation na to para makabuo tayo or makahanap tayo ng mga solutions involving circle as a conic section. Now, in this first example, we are asked to graph the circle given x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equal to 16. So, meron tayong standard equation ng circle at kailangan daw natin siyang i-graph. So, sa first step natin is to find the center and the radius. At alam natin ng equation ng, or standard equation ng center ay x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared wherein the center is h, k at yung r squared nyo will be the radius squared. So, yung center nyo will be negative 1 and 3 kasi yun yung value na inyong h and k dito sa ating equation. At yung radius nyo naman, which is given by r squared equal to 16, will be r equal to plus or minus 4. Now, ngayon na meron tayong center at meron na tayong radius, madali na natin mai-graph yung ating circle. So, ito yung ating x, y plane. Ang una natin i-graph is yung center, which is negative 1 and 3. So, negative 1, positive 3, this will be your center. And to find your circle as a construction in your xy plane, gagamitin, yun, gagamitin natin yung radius na 4, which means we have 4 units away from the center going to the right, at 4 units away from the center going to the left, at also, yung pataas at yung pababa. So, meron tayong 4 points na nandirito na equidistant doon sa ating center. At yan yung makakatulong sa atin sa pagbuo or sa paggraph ng ating circle given the equation x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 16. At ito yung ating graph ng ating conic section na circle doon sa problem number 1. So, yan yung paggraph ng circle given the standard equation of the hyperb of the circle. Now, so example number two naman, we, uh, we have to write the equation of the circle given points and its center. So, yung point na given is negative 6 and 4, which lies on the circle na, at ang center naman niya is at negative 5 and 0. Now, yung step number one natin is, syempre, to find yung r squared kasi given tayo ng isang point na pwede nating i-replace kay x and y at given din tayo ng center na pwede nating i-replace sa h and k. So, ang ating point will be x and y. So, negative 6 and 4 for x and y. At for the center which is h and k, we'll have positive 5 in our formula and negative 0 kasi yung ating formula is negative. Now, mahahanap natin yung value ng r by substitution or direct substitution ng mga points na given doon sa ating formula and we'll have negative 1 squared plus 4 squared equal to r squared which gives us 1 plus 16 equal to r squared. Excuse me, r squared. So, ang r squared natin is equal to 17. Nakakailanganin natin mamaya sa pagsulat ng standard equation ng circle. So, alam na natin kung ano yung h and k, which is your center. Alam na rin natin yung r squared. So, ready na tayo sa step number 2, which is writing the standard equation of the circle. So, replace h and k by 5 and 0. Wala doon sa ating formula. And replace r 
or r squared by 17 kasi yun yung nakuha nating value. Therefore, ito yung ating standard equation ng circle. Or, since 0 naman yung ating k, pwede natin siyang isimplify pa as x plus 5 squared plus y squared equal to 17. At ito yung example number 2 na kung saan meron tayong point, meron tayong center, at kailangan natin magsulat ng standard equation ng circle. Sa example 3 naman, meron tayong um, given na general form ng circle and we are asked to find the center and the radius of this equation. So, ang first step natin, every time meron tayong general equation ng any conic section, is to use the completing the square method para makuha natin yung standard equation ng ating conic section. And in this case, yung conic section natin ay circle. So, ito yung ating general equation. So, first step is to use the completing the square method na ginamit natin sa mga dating equations ng ibang conic section. So, dapat marunong kayo mag-complete the square para makuha nyo yung standard equation ng circle. So, we are, the first step is to group your x's and your y together at saka yung constant, ililipat natin doon sa kabilang side ng equation. So, we have x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 8y equal to 5. And by completing the square method, check nyo muna kung yung inyong mga variable ay may leading coefficient na 1 bago kayo mag-complete ng square. At since nag-iisa yung x squared and y squared, which has a coefficient of 1, ready na tayo mag-complete ng square. So we have x squared minus 4x plus a number, at saka y squared plus 8y plus another number, na i-add natin doon sa kabilang side ng equation. Now, to find that special number that will, that will complete our square, just take half of your middle term and Take the square of your middle term and it will give us positive 4. So half ng 4, which is 2, 2 squared is 4. And half ng 8, which is 4, 4 squared is 16. At yan yung mga number na magtutulong sa atin sa pag-complete ng square. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared plus 8y plus 16. And don't forget na kung nag-add kayo ng number dun sa left side ng inyong equation, kailangan i-add nyo rin siya sa right side ng inyong Equation. So you have 5 plus 4 plus 16, which gives us x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equal to 25. So ito yung ating standard equation ng circle na nagawa natin um, may solve from the general form of your equation by using completing the square method. So sa step number 2, since meron na tayong standard equation ng circle, mahanap na natin yung center which is your h and k at yung radius which is given by r squared equal to 25. So to find the center and the radius, the center is at 2 and negative 4 at yung radius nyo naman is the square of 25 which is equal to 5. At yan yung mga problems na pwede nating isolve using our circle.